U.S. royal journalist Kinsey Schofield appeared on GB News and told host Mark Dolan the Sussexes were seeing their popularity fall in the U.S. as she said the public was getting fed up with their complaining. But when asked if Piers Morgan and Meghan Markle were generally liked in the States amid the recent Ofcom ruling, Ms. Schofield explained the two were divisive but offered advice to Mr. Morgan on how to now move on from the ruling. The journalist advised the former GMB presenter to simply ignore the Duchess of Sussex as her greatest fear was being ignored and being forgotten about as she said people believed what Meghan said because Oprah Winfrey did not challenge her enough. Back in March, Mr. Morgan departed from Good Morning Britain following the huge backlash he received after questioning the legitimacy of Meghan Markle's claims during the Oprah Winfrey interview. The day after the interview aired, Mr. Morgan rejected Meghan's mental health worry stating he did not believe a word she said, and said her attacks on the royal family were contemptible. A record 58,000 complaints were then sent to Ofcom with one reportedly from the Duchess of Sussex herself. However, the media regulator rejected all of the complaints this week stating they did not want to stifle national debate but made it clear they did not necessarily agree with the points made. Mr. Dolan invited Ms. Schofield to give her assessment of how the two are seen in the U.S. She said, you know, Piers is such a character here in the States, there's a love-hate relationship with him, he's very polarizing. But I could say the same for Meghan Markle, I do think that Americans understand that there were a lot of questionable accusations made in that interview and we did jump to conclusions when we heard it. There was no pushback from Oprah Winfrey during that interview so obviously we all consumed it as truth. It's kind of unfolded and we've realized, maybe that's a bit of a fib. But, I would tell you if I were Piers Morgan, I think that he's got something's cooking and he's about to announce something and he's going to have another platform. If I were in his position, I would not give a single second to Meghan Markle if you want to crush this woman. You don't talk about her because her greatest fear is to be irrelevant. And I know that it keeps him in the papers, but I almost think that it would hurt her more, if he would just pretend that she was non-existent. Accusations made by Meghan during her interview with Oprah Winfrey began to unravel when the sit-down eventually aired in the UK. Meghan claimed she and Harry were married three days before the public ceremony on May 19 during a private event in their garden. However, the Sun newspaper revealed the official wedding documents showed May 19 was the actual day they got married with the Archbishop of Canterbury coming out to defend himself stating if he had carried out the private wedding it would be illegal. Meghan also suggested Archie was denied a title but the 1917 letters patent from George V states he would not be given a title until Prince Charles ascends the throne. Mr. Morgan left Good Morning Britain earlier this year which saw him clash with weatherman Alex Beresford over Meghan. The journalist was given the option of leaving or apologizing with Mr. Morgan choosing to leave. When Ofcom did not uphold the thousands of complaints against him, Mr. Morgan said he was delighted and that it was a huge blow to Princess Pinocchio. Related articles U.S. commentator reveals discrepancy in Meghan Markle interview Prince Harry Time Limited as rising Prince George to change focus Meghan and Harry contradicted themselves on Oprah says Farage.